Hello my friends, I'm Brett Larkin. Today we're doing a somatic class to focus on releasing the hips and deep emotions. Remember that you can always be doing different movements than I'm showing on screen. Somatic means getting into your body, so how you might need to do that is probably gonna look different from me, but I'm here to give you ideas. Come to lie down with your feet as wide as the mat. I like to have the arms either in a cactus shape or it might feel really good for you to have the hands on the hips. And just take a look at the screen for a moment. You're gonna notice that I'm starting to make kind of like figure eights with my hips. So it seems a little counterintuitive because <laughs> I'm lying down on the ground. But if you could imagine that you were sort of salsa dancing, but in super slow motion, you'll notice I have one knee and then the other kind of dipping in as I make some figure eights with the hips. The knees are wide. And as the music begins to change here, begin to slow your breathing down. Sense that you're being moved from something deep within you, deep inside the pelvis, something that wants to unwind, something that wants to release. Should feel good, should feel good on the low back. Sense the energy drop into the back line of your body. So the back of your brain, your brain stem, the space behind your spinal cord. Maybe your hip circles get a little bigger. Your knees want a windshield wiper side to side or make circles like the tops of your knees could make circles on the ceiling slowing down your breath visualizing yourself widening left to right If you like, press into the feet. You can look at the screen, lift your hips up, and then do those swivels, those figure eights down. Inhale, pressing into the floor, lifting the hips, and then letting yourself unravel, unwind, left to right. Mm, one more. Mm, pull the knees into the chest. And give yourself a squeeze. Roll to one side, pressing up. We're gonna do some undulations. You can do these in cross leg. Or if you've been practicing yoga a long time and you want to do these in Gomukhasana, so you're either left leg in front, left shin in front, or left knee over right. Just begin to bow down. And then like a wave, undulate up. Let's see if you can make the length of your exhalation, the length of your bow forward. The length of your inhalation, your rise up. Play with doing this on the diagonal. So whether you're in cross legs or here, what does it feel like to do this? over to the left or right. Chin into chest. You lead with the heart to come down. Head is heavy like a bowling ball to roll up. And 
Maybe you want to make a circle now with the head, neck, and torso. Dropping down like a rag doll and then opening up. And if you're in Gomukhasana, just reach behind you and you can crawl to switch so you have the opposite knee in front. If you're in cross legs, just switch whatever leg is in front. Keep undulating. Invite a sense of reverence. You're bowing here. Every time you exhale and bow, you're letting go. Forgiving something, letting go of something. Opening yourself up to the pulse of creation. Identifying less with yourself and your own struggles and more with the unified field of awareness. Whatever you do, don't stop moving. Bowing and release. Undulating up. Maybe circle with the torso. Maybe taking the hands behind you. Wherever you're playing, we're gonna Migrate to standing. So Gomukhasana, rotate with me and come up. Maybe you wanna spin a little bit. Find a nice wide stance, cross leg, meet us here. Find your way up. We're gonna play with the energy here. Goddess pose, pull the energy in and then we're gonna flick it out. Mouth to squeeze, <laughs> mouth to flick. It's like you're squeezing into this energy ball, whatever you don't want, and then flick and release. Opening the hips in this goddess squat. Get your breath. If you can make a little noise, maybe you want to add some noise. No, 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 no. Low squat, flick. Last one, flick. And coming back, hands on hips, making some figure eights. Recalibrating your breath. Seeing if you can make your hips like molasses or honey. Just like we were on the floor, but here you have permission to move more hands to hips. Just feeling. And we'll close with three big spinal undulations out the mouth. You can look for the first one and then we'll do three more. Inhaling big, exhaling, melting, really releasing whatever's not serving you out through the hips, out through the heart, out through the mouth. Join me. Bigger release this time. What's that sticky thing that's been clinging to you? Let it go. <sighs> nice. Come to stand. Flick the wrist. Flick the energy you don't need away. And come to stand with the hands on the belly. Feeling yourself rooted, 
grounded, perhaps stating your name, the space you're in, blinking the eyes open if they've been closed, orienting yourself back to the room. I hope you feel like you've had an opportunity to release and let go. From my heart to yours, namaste. I've linked up some similar classes and relevant blog posts on this topic, along with some free gifts in the description box down below to help you take your practice deeper. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.